hell yeah. What the hell? Who the hell? Where the hell? Yeah. What's up, everybody? How's it going? How goes it? Ah, it's Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yeah, it is. It is Thursday. It's as far as I know. Uh, so bad news. My Cloud Strife uh, thingamajig is coming apart. I got to super glue this at some point. So what I'm going to do is on stream, I'm going to I'm going to strip and take this off uh, because it's getting damaged and I need to repair it. So uh, put that away. So I'm just going to have one tonight. You know what I'm saying? Let me fix this. All right. So like I mentioned before and by before, I mean yesterday, uh, I won't be able to stream this weekend. It's family time. We're going out of town. Me, my sister, mother, nieces, all that good stuff. So I will not be present. Actually, hang on, I'll be right back. Uh, before we do all the shout outs and stuff, I forgot one thing I gotta do. get a snack like that <sighs> okay so before we jump back into ff16 matter of fact i can just go ahead and do that and then so last night we did a lot uh annabelle heard uh she unalived herself which i don't condone that under normal circumstances like if it's just someone out in the world who does it that's tragic uh that's really sad but in this case but anyway, uh, yeah, the big tasty it is. I'm trying to eat healthier. Cucumbers are good for you. And uh, they got a nice crunch. So, you know. I saw there was a hype train. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. So before we jump into this, uh, because it's my last night streaming for the week, unfortunately, got to make this count. Got to make it count. <laughs> So, with that being said, thank you mods, thank you viewers, thank you subs, thank you Twitch uh, for the platform, thank everybody. So let's do shout outs because that's what we always do at this time. Uh, hang on, we've got Say Stargazer, uh, Sari Bot holding us down, Kaiser Flair, MacGuffin stuff, Quirky Riku, Her Elegancy, Fooly Dooly, Corona Wolf, uh, Flobro, Nessie, and Yasha Guy, main son on a 20 month streak. Yup. What did you expect? Yeah. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Um, let's go down. Up, oh, Kuroto on 15 months. You know what? Let me collect everybody. Let me make sure I got them all and I'll just hit it one time again. Uh, we've got Random Attack Gaming, uh, Wild Mary. Uh, Gamer Dude 9317, what's happening? Poison Leaf, um, going down, going down, going down. Cookie Squad, Lady Lorian, uh, Ayla Strife, what's good? Oh, you came in last night, what's happening? Um, and then the Big Tasty, and I think that's everybody, right? Let's make sure, let me scroll down all the way. General Chunks, uh, yeah, and Vadix, what's good? But no, thank you again uh, for subbing. Kuroto! What did you expect? Really appreciate it. All right, let's see where this adventure takes us now. We've, uh, we've got a lot to uncover. But we've reunited with our brother, Joshua. He's alive and well. It will take time. 
to come to terms with everything that happened in the Dominion. But time is the one thing we always seem to lack. Time is not on our side, I know. It's wild. <clears throat> I'm so trash, like I haven't even packed for tomorrow. But I'll do it after stream. Uh, what's up, Onigumo? What's happening? But yeah, if you guys hear a crunch, again, that's me being healthy with the cucumbers. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? You hey, what you looking for? Patrick? What you looking for? No, nah, you look like William Shatner. You look like Star Trek. What's happening, man? What you looking for? You looking for hoes? I took them all. Yeah. You ain't getting none. I got them all. <laughs> you better luck next time, my boy. All right, let's, let's see. Otto, let's talk to Otto. Most of the high. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fat storms at mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the free cities, helping Mid with her project. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme into those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. Alright, so Vivian. Uh, what's up, Safari 30? What's good? Okay. Vivian! What's happening? How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Fun fact. Shit. She kind of looks like the current present day Unviv. I mean, obviously that one looks older because she is older, but the Unviv. Like, if you looked up Aunt Viv actress right now, she looks similar to her, just... This is like a younger version of the old Aunt Viv. It's hard to explain. Just don't worry about it. Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. <clears throat> My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. History class. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks. Cast nary a glimmer of light. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function. Even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. 
Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand, to be washed away at the whim of the waves. Oof. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. Man. Well, <clears throat> speak with Harpocrates. But yeah, I can tell the sky is getting considerably save us. desaturated. Yeah, like it was a pleasant blue at one time. Now it's like ashy gray and like a faint purple. I mean, it's kind of pretty, but within the context of the game is not, um, you know, <clears throat> eco-terrorism and all, but it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Whatever we gotta do to progress the plot, right? <laughs> you know? <clears throat> Let me guess. You'll hear about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. Ah, <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Thanks, Harpo! I did notice one thing on the, uh, the spear grid. There's an obvious two or three more slots. I would say, let's see, how big are these? Actually, one, two, yeah, about three more um, icons, I guess we have to conquer. So that lets me know that we're still in for a long ride because, yeah. Like, you see, like, you see what it's forming? Like, it's, we're missing, okay, excuse me, we're missing two. Yeah, we're missing two. Yeah, two more. <clears throat> I caught on to that last night. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Clive, 
We have a problem. Only one. That would be a first. It would. Actually, there are three. Damn. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cache at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalimil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains... It fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Jill said I'm ready. I'll stay ready. So I don't have to get ready. All right, eight Martha's rest in dilemma. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. All right, let's go south first. Let's go here. Take care of this situation. That definitely needs medication. If you know, you know. But if you don't know, you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Oh. Poor bastard. Couldn't run because of the weight of his load. Still, better a branded than one of us. What an asshole. Uh, down the rabbit hole. Okay. Sid, your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Ah, uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Man. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? <laughs> makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Mm -hmm. Suppose we just follow the shouting. I still can't get over that one quest where uh, Uncle Byron was like stuffing his face here in the bar. That was good. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. Uh-oh. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid, and Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos, and the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. 
I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnes. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city for that matter. Almost the opposite of FF14. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, huh. perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. Now I miss Shadowbringers. <laughs> oh, Torgal, good boy. When did you get so big? So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. We'll do it. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? We'll do it. Well, if it were my namesake. He'd let them choose for themselves and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> A recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? Hey, also have some. When all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along. What he means to say is yes. <laughs> oh, sweet Jill. <clears throat> sweet Jillian. All right, help recruit Conrad to Lubor's cause. Okay. Shop. If I had my pickaxe, I would. I mean, it may still be possible to buy something, and we may yet be allowed to. Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. <laughs> uh, Lord Underhill. <laughs> At your service. <laughs> Damn. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, <laughs> my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost oh, empty, also but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine driving the prices higher than <gasps> most commoners can afford oh. it is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt <clears throat> it is worse than i thought if what lord underhill says is true i fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores meager though they regrettably are 
And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> she was like, you ain't fooling me. We try. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. It appears I have no choice but to do it. Mummy, I'm scared. Oh, I'm ruined. Picture it, Conrad. Your own city guard. Ah, here she is. The Lady of the Spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free City. A pleasure, my lady. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you Thank you, Tsunami Sumo. That Appreciate there aren't it. any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad, are you saying that Dalham's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Uh-oh. Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. Yo, who is this barber, man? That edge up is clean. That shit was sharp as a tack. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. Nah, Conrad goes to black barber shops. Confirmed. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. <laughs> taken with you. Clive was like low-key jealous. He was like, man, I saw Conrad. Yeah, I saw him staring at you, Jill. I don't like that shit. <laughs> Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With right. time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. Uh oh All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food. They want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move, doubtless, intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes I concede are oh, high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. 
That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. Cool, man. Sounds like a plan. <clears throat> Oh, I'm gonna ask something hella vague that only two people in this chat will probably understand. Um, the thing I sent in Discord earlier through DM, it was like, it was like a list of things involving people. Uh, yes or no, did that flow well, does it work? And that's all I'm gonna say. They'll know what I'm talking about. They'll know what I'm talking about. Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. Perhaps. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Not Guffy saying yeah. <laughs> sure, Jan. But uh, yeah, I got you, Kai, Huli. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm laughing too hard to fight. Oh, bandits. Oh, that's good. So, oh, man, that's the wrong. I got it, I got it, I got it. Damn! Oh, it's Jojo! I forgot. I forgot it's Jojo time. It's Jojo time. Son of a bitch. I was supposed to Jojo him to hell and back. I Jojo the air. That's trash. I let myself down one too many times. They need to overwhelm us. Ah. Nice try. Nice 
on, get the fire, get the fire, get the fire out. <laughs> no! Terrible! No, we can stagger him, we can stagger him. I can survive, I can survive. Get him! I beat Eldering, I got this! Stagger! Yeah! Let me get my Jojo, let me get my Jojo! You had me. You really thought you had me, bitch. Yeah, right. Yeah. I stay with the shits. Oh, I thought I died. I was about to be mad as hell. Oh man, I was about to be super mad. I was about to be so frustrated if that killed me. Um. <laughs> the townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? Oh, they dead, dead. That we should hurry. Yeah. It's FF of Thrones. They dead as hell. <laughs> oh, no, they're good. Okay. They survived. They put in that work, that teamwork. <clears throat> Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Who is your barber? Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Dalamil. We Got all saved Dalamil. <laughs> Got that geometrical hairline, dog. It's perfect. 90 degree angles and oh, shit. That seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. <clears throat> Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. Yep. <laughs> As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, Kaizen, that's a classic, yeah. I'm just I'm just saying, it's just something I noticed, man. Like now I'm on a mission. We gotta find the barber here in town, man. So where did you learn to swing a sword like that? In a desert full of nerdy wells, a woman has to learn to look after herself. That's cool. They, they have made peace. They The people have made peace. But no, Chad, I'm just saying, hold up, hold up. Let me get the camera on. Let me get the camera on it. Conrad got the... Hold up. Damn it, Conrad. Time out, time out. I got you, man. Conrad has the crispiest edge up alive. Mr. Crisp. Look at, just look at it. This shit is crispy. It's sharp. You, you, you fuck around and cut your fingers off on that hairline, man. Look at it. Where's the barber, goddammit? In this town, where, where's, the, like, nobody else has the edge of that fire here in town. Conrad, where you from, dog? I'm just saying, like, what, 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 what? Come on, man. <laughs> Cloudy just jealous he's got hair. I'm giving him compliments. I'm giving him props. You little shit. Hell shot. Time out. I was giving him props, and this is what happens. That's what happens. Oh, sorry, I killed the stream. I'm, I'm so I I hit the wrong button. Uh damn. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, man. No, I was just giving him props. <sighs> I was just saying, where's the where's the barber at? I'm just saying, Clive, after this all said and done, he might want to switch it up. You know, the shag is cool. The shag gets some bitches, but he might want to get an edge up. You know, Clive might want to get a, a wave check. You never know. You never know. I'm just, I exhaust all possibilities. 
All right. So we've done everything we gotta do in this town. Let's go to Martha's Rest. Yeah, up here. <clears throat> exactly, Axelheart. Exactly. Oh, what's up, Current Echo? You know? But yeah, I mean, shit. Yeah, I would love it if I, I still had, like, well, I never had, like, a, a good hairline. Mine's always been fucked up since, like, birth. But, you know, if I were to have an edge up that clean, I would show it off every chance I got. Every, every, every moment that I was able to, I would just be like, I would just run up on people, like, check the geometry. Or I'd just probably do something slick, like, schling! And they would get it. They would, they would know. They would understand. I'm talking about the edge up. You know, that's what uh, <clears throat> that's what I would do. All right, Martha. What's that? Oh, Martha. It's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill. Otto said he'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them, trying to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. <clears throat> the rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. You know what's gonna, random fact, you know what's gonna start freaking us out when we play these games? <clears throat> when the NPCs have actual human movements in their face like let me let me i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you watch her just observe her face now where i need you is the fallen gate that's where the fighting is fiercest let the but, men know you've come to help something tells me they'll be pleased to see you we're on our way so you saw how you know the npcs during these kind of scenes they move kind of robotically they're very Isn't like there are as many as martha says more. Like, it's gonna get wild in the future if games start having their NPCs have more uh, body motions, like genuine, fluid, like, oh my god, I can't believe you're here. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I need you to go help my cat in the tree. I feel like that's gonna make, well, for one, it's gonna make side quests feel a lot more um, gravitational, if that, if that works in this sentence. Like, it's gonna make them a lot heavier. Because the expression of the NPCs is going to be like, yo, this is a real person asking for my help. You know, it's like a real person who needs me. Because, I mean, right now with the NPCs, because they're still kind of on some uncan uncanny valley shit, it's like, well, I, I hear you, NPC, but you're kind of a robot. So I can't really, I can't invest too much in you. Sorry. <clears throat> you know, you know how that is. Red Dead did that like a decade ago. Um, uh, did they though? Oh, you know what? That's right. Rockstar goes all out. Scratch that. Okay, Rockstar still okay. You're right. You're right. Rockstar does go all out with the uh, the quests, the NPCs, especially Red Dead Two. Everybody. I mean, like every. Whoops. Oh, headphones. <sighs> you know, everyone does it. <sighs> Skyrim. Oh shit. <sighs> Skyrim modders are already experimenting with AI like chat GPT to make NPC mode like lifelike. Oh, okay. Well, I've never played Skyrim, Lion's Roar, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> but I think someone told me that the NPCs, the way they move in this is how they move in Skyrim. Like, I think someone told me that early on that the way the NPCs talk to you, it looks like Skyrim. <clears throat> uh, all right, let's go. Wait, 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 I just, let me, let me, let me, uh, put the car in reverse. <laughs> Psychosis was, like, correcting me, live on the air. Like, wait a minute. Red Dead did that forever ago, Cloudy. <laughs> Fool. Red Dead already did that. What are you talking about? And, uh... <laughs> I might have taken that personally. Time out. <sighs> Might have taken that personally. <clears throat> but, uh, anyway, technically he is right, though. 
<laughs> time out aside, he, he was right. But because I took it personally, <laughs> here we are. But you guys love me anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. <sighs> I feel like I haven't timed people out enough in a while. Like, I feel like my trigger finger has been kind of lazy. Because there was a time where I was just, like, blowing people away, just like... Pew, 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 pew. I kind of miss that, Cloudy. I kind of miss that chaos. Clive, wounded. Oh, man. We deal with the Akashic first. Oh, these crystal zombie dogs. What the shit? Man. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't make me Jojo a dog, because I'll do it. I will Jojo a dog. Matter of fact, don't touch me. Yeah, right. You ready for this? <gasps> yep, yep. Jill who just cried and paid over me dying? Uh, oh. Oh. I forgot to save. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Oh no. Where, how? Ooh. Oh. Right. <sighs> But no, aside from all that, yeah, I, I was, I was taking a break from sniping everyone, trying to be nicer, and then I realized it's a cruel world. It's a cold world. Says J. Cole. And um, I was trying to ignore that fact, but the reality is, I, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I just, I just be out here just, just sniping fools. Like, it's just, it's what I do. Anything catch you, right? Nah, but I'm gonna need some items, though. I need some potions. Run me them potions, eh? Thanks very much. Yup. There you go. I got the money for elixirs, but somehow I can't aff I Not Why sure can't I get an extra can carry that. I got plenty of inventory space. You just ain't seeing it. There you go. <sighs> Lionheart tonic. Oh. That yeah. all is it? All right. <sighs> I can't believe I wasn't watching my health bar, man. That was a rookie mistake. For me to get killed by crystallized zombie dogs is, <clears throat> I don't know, man. I don't think they've abandoned us, do you? Where's my choker? Ah, oh, I can't use that. Oh here. Yeah. Ah, man. But no, I try to be careful, cause like I know sometimes new people are lurking and I don't know it. And if they see me just sniping people left and right, they're like, yo, man, Cloudy McDoom was a tyrant. Let's cancel him. I mean, not really, but, you know. Uh, can I skip this cutscene? I mean, I've seen it, so I'm gonna go ahead and... <sighs> oh, yeah. Let me run that back. Let me run that back. I had full health, right? What? 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 Uh, did I go into the fight with how much health do I have right now? Hold up. I thought I had max health. Like who's out here insta killing me? Who 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 who's putting uh the insta death on me? Who is that? Something is amiss. 
The... One second. Let me let me get to the battlefield and I can check. Abandoned us. <clears throat> Oh, that's why my health has been low since I left. Wait, what happened to the shit I bought? I bought potions. Man. What the fuck, bro? Come on, dog. It... You can fast travel to home base to recover your health for free. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I'm a... Uh... I got money, Axel Hart. I've got... Hold on, where's the show how much cash I got? I've got, give me a second. I've got 50k gil um, here in game, so I'm I'm good on that. I don't have to skip on the hills. You know what I mean? I don't have to. I don't have to live like that. I don't have to live gil check the gil check, like you may have done, and that's fine. Anything catch your Nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> yeah. There you go. Uh, much obliged. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Thanks very much. Yeah, let me get that strength tonic, man. Let me get two of those. Much obliged. Exactly, Flo, bro. That's what we're doing. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and use a high potion. Let me go ahead and... Yeah. Hey, let me get one more of those, dog. How do? How do? How do you do? Uh, I'm gonna get that. There you oh, go. my God. Almost, my brain almost said I'm gonna bust you. I was about to say I'm gonna buy a thing, and my brain was like, because <laughs> I had to record it and do it. it, it don't worry about it. It was Take a, care, it almost, okay. it was almost a Freudian slip, and I caught it at like the very last second. All right, let's uh, let's save here so I don't have to do that shit again. But no, man, I um. So we can all agree that um those last two deaths deaths deaths. Death, were fraudulent because I didn't have health. I didn't have HP. Uh, this Final Fantasy mode, um, King Art, King Art of Cold Gaming. Uh, this is Final Fantasy 16, if that's what you're asking. I think. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> uh, mm. You don't think they've abandoned us, do you? Yeah, they abandoned you. They did. <laughs> ah. Final Fantasy mode is new game plus difficulty. Oh, wow. Okay. I wonder what that's like. I'm going to skip you. Yeah. All right. Let's try this one more time. I needed that. Get this Jojo your life! Get what? Ah! Matter of fact, I got something for you. Get this is the right way! Finished. 
too satisfying, man. That is too satisfying. Hmm. Uh, we've yet to see you new game plus These a game. Don't have the look of I'd love to schools. see you do it one day. <sighs> if you've come to rob this place. You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wadesmen? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you anon. Anon. We'll join you anon. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell, the Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. All right. Oops. Sorry about that. <clears throat> but also weird. Instead of trying to fix the world with the uh, yellow golden sky, we're trying to fix the world with the purple sky. It's always the sky of Final Fantasy right. games now. It's like. Hey, the sky is broken. You need to fix it. My dogs. Get an electrician out here. Something. All right, let's go down. We're going down, down. Me and Torgal and Jill. Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? You. Uh oh. Damn it. We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Oh, yeah. Do our duty.
go one thing i noticed is uh titan i think it shatters uh an enemy's defense like that might have just been specific to the tortoise but it did like a slow-mo crack and then it felt like i was doing more damage but you know so i have to test that theory with other uh, monsters is anyone hurt i don't think so and yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. Oh, that's the Too counter, I got you. A, hearth. a second horde. Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. All right. How far is that? Not too bad. Okay. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and shoot. Mm. You know what's crazy? Before we know it, we're going to look up and Spooktober 2023 is going to be upon us again. Which means I have to stream more horror games like we did last year. Like, well, we did, um, what did we do last year? It was the game with the pictures, a fatal frame. We did Outlast. That was wild. Um, I think I topped it off with uh, Dead Rising. I mean, that's not a scary game, but, like, I remember trying that. It, I, I was pretty bad at it. Brothers. That's an unforgiving game. <laughs> a very unforgiving game. <clears throat> but yeah, man, now I have to think of what to play this year. That'll be interesting. Because, like, everyone knows, like, I've said it a thousand times. I'm not big on horror games, but when the when the time is right, i.e. Spooktober, it's like, you know, do what you got to do. Um, and not going to lie, they're pretty fun. Like, they, uh... The adrenaline rush. Oh, what? Okay. 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 They're headed for the rest. We have to slow them down. Martha and the others won't be ready. Oh, good. Oh, 
the screen up. Something's coming. Oh, all right. Ooh. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, so wait. Shall we? Alvin, uh, Retro Man, what's happening? Ooh, that was a close one. I need more items. I need more pots. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. 
Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. Martha heard more men. She was like, hell yeah. Yeah, they can, they can camp out here. They can stay. Wink, wink. Nice, nice. If you press it just as something attacks you, gotcha. Gotcha. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. Bradley Cooper? It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch. <laughs> I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, so wait. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar. But I am a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. Not that Sir Wade and the other guardians are... I mean to say that... Uh, the... It's Damn. all right. We know what you mean. <coughs> there is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire... Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. I will not let you down, Lord Rossfield. You... Or my uncle. We shall be staying here for the time being, and not just for the ale. I'll have one of my men escort Oscar to Benamir once he's said his farewells. Nice. I guess uh, he'll be like an NPC in the party that helps me fight. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go to Northreach and handle this situation. The shade on this one, I know, right? Oh. <laughs> uh. Accidental shade is the best. First, we find Isabel. All right, let's see. Do I have any points to spend? Hang on. Yeah, I do. Now that we know the Jojo Punch is alive and well, we got to strengthen it up. Yeah, we need that master level uh, Jojo Punch. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's this? Yeah, I'll hook that up. That's fine. <laughs> What is up, um, little PJ? <laughs> little PJ TV, what's good? All right, save the game. Da -da -da. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I bloke saying he saw ghosts on the far side of the wall. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh no, we gotta go through. Wait, which way? Oh, I'm tripping, yeah. Just right through here. Oh, what's good? No, I appreciate that. No, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I aim to please on multiple fronts. So I, can, I never get tired of hearing uh, people run through the chat like, yo, man, I love the content. I love Hello the, the videos. Touches my, my, my heart. Touches my heart. The captain's dead. My heart. Uh, we're going to take a right. Okay. The two soldiers were carrying another. I swear, man, on another subject, that... It took me a while to get used to Resident Evil. Anyone who's played a Resident Evil game 
there's no map on your screen so you spend the whole game every two seconds just like okay uh i think i go this way and i'll take a right and you come back and you're like oh shit now i gotta go back to the door with the heart key uh i guess it's up here yeah i gotta I mean, I like it now because I'm used to it, but when I first played it, I was like, man, this shit is for the birds. But, uh, you know. More arrived from the <laughs> capital this morning. What up, girl? My lord. My lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a kashik, but different. That They're 90s hairstyle. Many. I've lost count. Akashic, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Yeah, the lack of camera movements, that threw me off too. Granted, that was the first one. Um, once I played Resident Evil 2 Remake and all that, it was more... You had a little more freedom, you know? <clears throat> Which, honestly, that's what made that first one more terrifying to me because because the camera angles just abruptly change, you don't know what's gonna come around the corner. So you'll just be walking and it's like, boop, 10 foot spider, tarantula, enjoy. Boop, zombie frog demon thing, boop. Chimera cockroach mantis people. Just a lot, man. A lot to deal with. That thing. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Ah, oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly, and sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort, but I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Um, <clears throat> what we need to consider <laughs> is where the creatures came Jill from. Jill was like, bitch, don't! The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. Yo, that was the most subtle form of Jill saying, uh, don't flirt with my men. Don't, don't do that here. You know, don't, don't get your wig snatched here in the middle of a crisis. I pray, I pray thee, don't do that. That's what Jill was saying. That's funny. We got to pet our dog. That's a must. <laughs> Like, I don't care what's going on in the game in terms of the struggle, the chaos, the bloodshed. You got to make time to pet Torgal because Torgal is a good dog. You got to make time to pet your Torgal. I don't give a shit what's happening out there because it's all about right here. It's all about right here. See what I'm saying? It's a good dog. It's a good dog. Sorry, Torgo. Sorry. Sorry. <sighs> All right, let's handle this situation. Thing, it took off the captain's head. What? Before we could even draw his steel. 
I'm not oh. gonna that. You hear me? Fuck this. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. If you saw your captain get beheaded. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Whew. Damn. You know, the irony here is that all of you have armor, but it's the wrong armor. You see, you boys ain't got plot armor like me. And I mean, if I could give it to you, I would, but the shit is, one, it's invisible, can't be bought, can't be sold. It just, I, you know, I wish, <laughs> I wish, I wish I could share some of my plot armor with you, but I can't, I can't, <clears throat> can't do it. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Martha Stewart? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Josie first, then me, and then... Then they were just gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. Nah, no, this is sad for real. It's all right. Me, me, oh. My family. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. Don't worry, NPC. We got the At plot. At least we armor. have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. Damn. Let's see. Oh, we gotta go way. Our right, way to leave town, and then. You're safe now. No, as tragic as this is, nothing quite holds a candle to um. The uh. <laughs> I'm bad with names. It was like the first castle we did in uh Elden <clears throat> Ring. It was the first castle we did, right? And I'm gonna try to describe this for people who haven't played the game. There's On the way, way to the to castle, escape. apparently there's like a cult of, of how do I describe it? Whatever it, it, it's the king or the lord, the elden lord of that area, Godric, he was like obsessed with uh, limbs. So like homie had like 30,000 limbs like attached to his body just he was just weird like that but anyway um you go into his castle and it's just like the entire village's body parts is spread out around the um i don't know if you call that the dining hall or the the the, the place where people congregate it was just bodies on bodies just stacks and stacks and then they you know just a lot of shit happening uh that was a pretty tragic you know, situation. Like when I saw this village and those people like, yeah, it kind of made me think of that, you know. All right, we got to get over it. Wait, I could have, bro. Trash. Fly Ambrosia. I could have done this from the beginning. Clyde, look. I see them. With me. All right, let's try to do this thing. Let's try to block. Or let's try to counter. Let's get a Titan. Let me find one that's trying to fight me. Hang on. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. There we go. If you counter it right, it's over. Right, the game is over. Right, you got it. I forgot to buy potions. Oh no. I forgot to buy potions. Oh my shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. This ain't good. This is not good. Oh my god. Yo, I gotta. Oh, I gotta get long range on this, man. Here. I gotta draw him out. Over here. Get him! 
not these. more but I'd say we've done what we can for the time being then we should let Isabel know <sighs> you have the town's thanks don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. Not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? But now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. Oh. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one. And that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. No sweat. It's <laughs> kind of what I do. Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind to rest. Before we do that. Back to the hideaway. Got 
got to restock. That's important. You got to do that. Like, I'm going to do that first before I talk to Otto. <clears throat> Clive. Go on then. Uh, I'll take all of those. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Last elixir. It'd better all be here. Turn up. Hello, small our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. Damn. So. Right. Clive. We knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. Yeah, let's go see how Joshua's doing. I've been wondering. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid, despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you. Even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit, but they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? 
Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. <coughs> Clive, it's Gav. <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <coughs> Well, what's the short of it? Myrtle, Ty, I told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua. Bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. Partying up with the little bro. I'll look after him. Finally. <clears throat> All right, broski. My attendant was with me in the Dominion before I primed. She would have watched the battle unfold and witnessed its outcome. I trust you'll be waiting for me in Tabor, where I can finally introduce you. All right, let's get up out of here. They have a party full of dominance. It's pretty cool. Cloak and dagger. Okay. It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. She should pick up the pace.
What's up, Vampy Fiend? Nope, it's impossible to be late. I'm just, uh, just vibing on the game. But no, I welcome. Can I rock my chocobo? Yep. I sure can. Ambrosia. Come on. And it's not going to be a long stream anyway, because I have to get up really early to travel with the family. Yeah! We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the Echoes have a will of their own. Nah, get off the, get off the chocobo. We gotta, we gotta, nah, we gotta, we gotta run it. We gotta run it. about Yote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Very well. Help me, boy. to go so ready go yeah. run like the wind another ether flood they're everywhere now we can't go around it then we'll just have to be careful. Really? I'm just riding through, man. Come on. Uh... Time to fight. Thanks, girl. This <laughs> Yeah. 
We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. I can walk from here. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Hey, hold up, Arrow Senpai. What's good? My Lord Marquis, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva. Then it is Waluda Knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave. Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you? Uh-oh. Distinguished members of the council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. 
Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. Like, nah. Wrong answer. I ain't doing shit like that. You got me fucked up. Here's a gift from the heavens. Divine intervention. Our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs> still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. I kill, I gotta kill both of them. That'll be fine. Come, Muthos. <clears throat> Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. Gotcha. I nullify both of them. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh... So then. How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient. As it appears he needs you most of all. Oof. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omielos Delan to Isag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. 
But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Ah. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. for you very deeply and I her which is why I had to let her go damn little bro why has it been on your ears man eat where do I even use this that much I do Maybe. Yeah. That's good stuff. That's good. And the story is picking up. Hey, what's up, Hans? So, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna call it here. Just cause like I said, I have to get up really early. Still gotta pack and all that good stuff. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in, man. Like I said, I'll be gone this weekend, but I'll be back. You know at some point but you can always find me on social media all the good stuff thank you guys so much for tuning in signing off in five four three two have a good night everybody